What's going on? I want to bring you guys two interesting whistleblowers. Now, the guy on the right is Bob Lazar. He says that he worked on the back engineer, the extraterrestrial craft out of military base S4, S4 south of Area 51. Bob Lazar says the people at Area 51 do not have the clearance and that there's no extraterrestrial craft at Area 51. However, there's nine extraterrestrial craft that our um, government is back engineering out of military base S4. Now, the guy on the left is a U.S. soldier and claims one of his fellow soldiers taped him telling him about um, a briefing about extraterrestrials and aliens. So anytime I hear constantly his stories about aliens or extraterrestrials or his stories about anything, I want to hear, do the stories match up? Do the stories match up? If everybody's saying they've been abducted by aliens, they've um, worked on extraterrestrial craft, they've worked top secret government about aliens, do the story match up? If anybody tells me, if they said they went to uh, California, I want to talk to somebody else that went to California, and what I want to do is match their stories. Do their stories match? I want you guys to take a look at, does Bob Lazar, who is the most um, believable whistleblower, he took three polygraph tests, every expert tried to debunk Bob Lazar, nobody is able to do so thus far. Everything Bob Lazar says, appears to be as of truth so far so i want to bring you guys do the stories match up now let's compare stories now one of the things that both of these guys said now listen to the guy on the left this is a, um this is a u.s soldiers talking about extraterrestrials he's going to say that our dna has been altered uh, 68 times since we've been um a simian creature take a listen to what he says and i'm gonna bring you guys this right here the, the, the. okay there there was Are an asteroid maybe jesus okay. there's was an alien you know what they said that that's a very strong possibility <laughs> some that he wasn't an alien but he was our dna has been altered 60 68 times since uh since uh, the caveman days so, do you believe in? Je do you not believe in Jesus? I do. Do you believe he was an alien? Okay. So, did you guys hear? He says uh, we don't know what type of DNA yet. He said that man um, DNA has been altered sixty-eight times since we've been a simian creature since the caveman days that he said. Now. Bob Lazar's interview was in 1989. This soldier's interview is from um, like 2012. I want to bring you guys Bob Lazar's interview and what Bob Lazar says about our DNA being altered. Um, same exact story. Um, this is Bob Lazar's right at 11 minutes. This is it here. Have historically interacted with man. How? What was involved there? Allegedly, this interaction has occurred since, you know, man was a simian creature. And, uh, you know, there were genetic alterations made. How specifically did the briefings detail how the aliens manipulated our genetics over the centuries? It mentioned 65 or 63 uh, corrections or additions to the genetic makeup uh, that finally resulted in, you know, a, a human creature. Did you guys hear that? He said the exact same story. Both stories match up the same. Now, something I want I want to point out. Look at the craft that this guy drew on He's the board. The he doesn't talk seen? about this. Look at the craft that the guy drew on the board before the guy started ta talking. Look, can y'all see that? Look at the craft that this guy is drawing on the board, or drew on the board already. It's already drawn on the board. Right here. Where is it? Right. All right, look at the craft right there. See that craft that he drew on the board right there? 
Now look at the look at the drawing of Bob Lazar's um, craft. Now take a look at the craft to the left, and now watch the goodness to the description of the craft that Bob Lazar gives in 1989. Look at the look at the description that Bob's gonna give about the extraterrestrial crab. Listen. Tell us about the lower level of the craft where the gravity generators are located. The lower level of the craft, the floor itself is hexagonal, little hexagonal squares. And the hatch, or if you want to call it a hatch, the access way to get in there is an ingenious little assembly. It's a honeycomb structure and if you put your fingers in one end of the honeycomb and push all the honeycombs will collapse in on each other making a hole it's kind of a neat uh, a neat doorway something that we could you know use I, I don't know what for but I mean it's uh, it's something that I haven't seen before and it's kind of a novel idea That's the exact same craft. If you guys take a look at both of these crafts, you can see they are describing the exact same craft. Bob Lazar talks about gravity gener Look at the picture to the right and look at the picture to the left. That's the exact same craft. One was from 89. This guy drew that picture. He didn't talk about the craft that got to the left. He talked about extraterrestrial. And I'll leave you guys a link to both of these to see the full interviews. But the guy to the left only talks about the extraterrestrials, which they both give the exact same description of the extraterrestrials as well. Let me bring you guys to that. Now, the soldier on the left, he's going to talk about that the extraterrestrials come from a binary star system. All right. And guess who also is going to talk about they come from a binary star system? Bob Lazar. Both of their stories are constantly matching up directly. Listen to what the soldier says about the extraterrestrials come from a binary star system. Listen. Can they breathe oxygen? Yes, yes, they can breathe oxygen. They, they, um, the atmosphere on their planet is very similar, but it's a binary star system, so they have like two suns, and which makes the air a lot drier. Their skin is very, their bones are more fragile than ours. But, uh, All right. Now, did you guys hear him? He said it, uh, they come from a binary star system. Now, listen to what Bob Lazar said. All right, now listen to Bob Lazar talk about um, dual star systems. Supposedly, the information, now this isn't something that I determined, it's something I was told, that uh, the crafts originated from uh, a planet that orbited the Zeta Reticuli star system, Zeta Reticuli 1 and Zeta Reticuli 2, or two, two stars of a binary star system. Uh, the craft allegedly came from there. So now I want you guys to listen to Bob Lazar's description of the extraterrestrials. Just like the guy on the left, he's going to call them the alien greys. Bob Lazar is going to call them the alien greys. Take a listen to this. One or two autopsy photographs I saw uh, dealt with just a small photograph, a bus shot essentially, just head, shoulders, and chest of an alien with a uh, uh, chest was cut open in T fashion and one single organ was removed. Uh, the organ itself in the, in the other picture was uh, cut and vivisectioned essentially, the, uh, showing the different chambers in there. Uh, this was totally unrelated to anything I was doing, but from that photograph it looked like you know, what you see in UFO lore as the typical gray. So how tall it was from what I could see. I. I couldn't tell because I only saw a portion of the photograph, but if everything else you see is correct, I would imagine it was three and a half or four feet tall. But uh, there again, you know, all I had to see was a photograph and, you know, I didn't have much to go on. So now you guys, you know, I want to, I want to put a link to the description box to both of these videos. You can find Bob Lazar interview, also our body language experts have um, analyzed Bob Lazar. Every single expert says that Bob Lazar is absolutely telling the truth or absolutely believes 100% that he is telling the truth. However, he is the most influential whistleblower as of yet. He describes every single, well, the, the two levels of craft. He worked with the power and the proposal system and describes them exactly 
um, him back in Geneva and exactly how it works. So I'm gonna put a link to the description box of both of these videos, YouTube videos of both of these, for you skeptics out there that don't believe in extraterrestrials at all. Just watch it, just keep an open mind and watch it. There are billions upon billions upon billions of planets. Every single one of them have possibly one to 10 Earth-like planets orbiting them, making the amount of Earth-like planets in the above trillions, in the zillions, a number that we can't even fathom. That's how many Earth-like planets are out there, all possibly with life on them. So keep an open mind, watch both these videos, um, and just let me know. I know this is a new style for me. I'm gonna open up a separate channel for stuff like this. Anyway, I want you guys to like, comment, let me know what you think about this video. Peace, peace.